Hi, it's Lynn from Lemmy C Designs. I'm an independent stepping up demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK. And I'm coming on today to make a version of this card. It uses the Pretty Perennials stamp set. And this I made as a new home card. I'm not sure of the sentiment I'm going to use on this one. I'm going to use the same stamp set, but I've changed up a lot. And I'm going to use the new in colours because I've just had a delivery and I've never really, I've not had a chance to play with them yet. So for this card, I'll show you what I'm using and what I've already cut. I've got a base of basic white, which is half a sheet of A4. So this is cut at 14.8 and it's scored at 10.5 for the card base. I've already embossed with the Dainty Diamonds embossing folder, a matting layer which will sit on there. This is retiring so if you want it pop over to my shop and purchase it, it's lovely. I do like the texture that an embossing folder gives to a background and that's quite effective. Then I've got a layer of polished pink which is one of the new in colours and it is 7.5 by 11.5 and, and I've cut it just wide enough. I've already cut a label. Um, this is really pretty because it's got a little stitched edge and this die is from nature's thoughts set which is this one and i love that set we'll pop those out of the way and i'll introduce you to the new in colors already got everything mounted on the blocks that i'm going to be using so we've got polished pink fresh freesia Pale papaya, just love them. I'd love to know who comes up with the names of these. Soft succulent, and this is a gorgeous green. And I, I, I love all of those. This is the one that I'm not in surely, uh, uh, totally sure of. And this is evening. What was it? Uh, evening evergreen. So whenever there's new colours and they'll be available for non-demonstrators to purchase from the 4th of May, I get a paper pack and that way you get four sheets in each of the colours and I think that's a really useful way of working out which ones you're going to use and it gives you a sample of each of them. And although I wasn't sure about this, this is actually quite a nice dark green. And I think they look really lovely together. So let's start stamping. And I am going to, let's have a look. As I say, this is hot off the press. Now, there are dyes that go with the pretty perennials look at that that's gorgeous um, but I'm going to fussy cut these out just going to clean that off so that it try and stop it from staining because the reds and the pinks do stain red uh, the photopolymer doesn't stop them working but it does stain them just a little bit so I'm going to do two of those and then I'm going to do four of these and I just love the watercolour uh, effect of those let's clean that off straight away and then I'm going to do a couple of these. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. I like that. And then the 
pale papaya. how many of these I'm going to want so I'm just going to do a sample and then I'm going to do a couple of the little ones to go with the little flowers now that's one two three yep I think that's about right and then I'm going to that in the middle of one of those um, and then I'm going to stamp off to put in those and I'm going to put gems after or I'm going to layer these up so I will go off fussy cut these and I'll be back so <laughs> Just left that last one. You really didn't need to see me cut all of those, did you? In my original card, I stamped some of these flowers onto this panel. Um, and I shall rearrange this lot and see if I feel that we need to do any stamping on the background before we actually start sticking everything down. And I just love that this looks sort of watercolory. I'm very sad that this stamp set isn't carrying over so if you want it you need to head over to my store now and pick it up. I'm going to skip a step. I'm not going to use, I know I normally do, but I know I'm not going to use the um, shimmer spray which I kind of did with this after I'd stuck it all together just to make it sparkle. So here we go. Let's we're going to layer these up and we're going to pop that there. And I'm just wondering whether we need anything in the background. Hmm. I'm going to leave that. Now I want to have this saying, sending lots of happy. So I will find another piece. I'm going to do that in black. Uh, let me get another piece of white. So I'm going to do this in black. Now, what that happens when that happens, I use one of the. See, that's a. I think my memento needs re-inking. I've got a basic black marker. And it's quite easy just with the marker. It's very thin. It's got 
jewel tipped like all of the, the Stampin' Right markers but it's very easy to just go over and fill in to fill in any bits I'm going to pop one down on the bottom there, sending lots of happy. Probably would have been better to have had a long pair of scissors for that. I don't risk having cut marks. And I shall just fussy cut this. If I change my mind, I shall show you what I do with this sometimes better with slightly less paper said before turning the paper in your non scissor hand rather than turning this round round and about and I just realize that this is probably one of the first cards in a while that I've made that doesn't have heat embossing on and I'm taking a break this week from the Global Design Challenge. Um, the case of the designer this week, which is great. Fantastic inspiration. If you're looking for inspiration, head over to their website. I was absolutely chuffed to bits that my card got picked as one of the winners last week. I'm very grateful for that. I made a bit of a balls on that one look. And you just trim around. It's me being me being very fussy about it. I think the key for this is to not rush it too much, for me anyway. And this time I'm leaving a sort of thicker border than I would normally do. But when you're putting it on white, it's not quite as um important it just gives you a, a nice look round that off there I'm just gonna go in and take a little bit more off that one so that it evens it out a little bit okay. Ooh, there we go leave those there oh, i love that now actually i want that to be a little bit higher because i'm going to pop that Sending lots of happy. That's quite nice down there. So I will actually 
do a little bit of stamping on here and I'm just going to use this little dotty one and I'm going to use pink that's stamped off with that. Give it a wiggle. Let me just close these up. So now I'm going to start popping these on together and I'm going to use my bone folder. Give them a little bit of shape. So I'm going to add that on with the dimensional. And then I can Things on there. Get some glue. Fabulous. And I'm going to pop 
that. bit of a pop that onto the base such a pretty embossing folder definitely going to keep that one in my stash I find it very hard to get rid of anything even though it's retiring if I like it because I know I'm going to use it to make cards from customers and just because you can't buy it anymore doesn't mean you can't use it that's my philosophy that's so pretty those colours go really well together try and get that straight that's quite easy for me because We've got some as long as I've got the embossing folder straight that's lovely now I think actually I'm going to pop that on dimensionals as well so let's have a look now I could use the mini dimensionals but um, I use every single part of my dimensional sheet. So it doesn't matter if I cut it up now or cut it up later. We put those like that. I don't want to cover up those flowers, they're too pretty. Sending lots of happy. There we go. Let's glue that one down there. Straight there. Get my cover any of that up. And then just to finish off, I'm gonna because I've got it cut. Place not want not. Pop that in under there. A little pop of green. Yep. And then I'm going to use a couple of these black Come on. What are these? These are the matte black dots which i think are quite good for flowers so there we go thank you so much for watching what do you think of the new in colors do you have a favorite which do you prefer i don't know if i i really do like that pink i wasn't too keen on magenta madness um but that's a really nice softer pink anyway thank you for watching all the links will be in the description box below and i will see you again next sunday bye for now